someone overcommits, that could be the make or break situation for one of these teams. It may actually be. Now, Circle goes further down. Through the hills of Pachinki on the eastern side. Well, many of them are inside of farm. Team Secret getting shot at by Pumburu. Very good angles, but four rivals don't really have covers other than the smoke that has been utilized. That's a lot of utilities being burnt in the early game. And Jumper finds the opening against Silence and Geek Fam having Micah, who's heading him down already. And Geek Fam is going to be pretty much hurting two Malaysian teams going at each other. And basically, all four are pinning each other down. And it's not really going to be. Uh, giving their region any sort of advantage. Yeah, they're just going at it. Meanwhile, at the back end, also MSC Chonbury up against Bigatron. I think they got shot as well. That's Luxy taking one member of MSC. Meanwhile, Geek Fem. Oh, he is in quite the situation here. How do you play this one out? Vampire Esports on one hand and on the other, another big team. So you got to play this one out wow. like a god. Liquid. Says, kills one, secures it for the side of Bigatron. Like a god, and it's got to need. Lobbing the nade, and it might look to connect onto Liquid with the maximum distance. Also finding Zuxi with his health pretty much chipped up. There's going to be another lot coming from another direction, seeking out Luxi. As both MS Chambri as well as Bigatron look to reset this fight. And Ramones will be able to pin down Luxi as he is taken down inside of the smoke. Bad news for Bigatron Red Aliens, who started off two games on the great note, and this time having more problems in the farm once more. Yeah, then they're losing one more member, and that's going to be effectively just one member remaining from Bigatron, as he's way too far to go in for the revive onto Liquid. And there you go. He will fall, and that is Bigatron now with only one player left remaining. Meanwhile, uh, oh, it seems like Team Secret trying to make in rotation. Oh. Gets punished in the process. RRQ, a little too sharp for themselves. Man, then there's no way that they could actually pass with a vehicle. You just look at RRQ Ryu taking the perfect vantage point to just shoot any vehicles down. And now it's FaZe Clan who opt to go on foot. Wise decision, but it's definitely going to be quite troublesome for them. Because they need to set their sights upon more members of BN United with a flank angle coming in from Silence. He might just be able to get those shots over onto Tony K. Meanwhile, Faris of Axis Rate 1 finds a crosshair and that's a headshot onto Geek Fam's damn root. Jumper is also down. Many of all the PMPL NYSG players are dropping out of Arangel early. Yeah, and talk about dropping out too soon. Onyx has been one of those teams, and this time it might just come up on top here as another nade has been lopped forward. XKF on the ground, and GZ is just going to push in forward with the cover of Smoke here, hiding right behind the shed. He has to hard commit there, otherwise they're going for the revive here. I think they just did. Uh, Evos Microboy being preoccupied right now. Onyx, do they look to capitalize wow. the situation? GZ is the one who falls. And that is Evos now having the upper hand with all their members running around in circles. That's right. As they are still running around, they won't be able to find too much cover by the broken walls. This is where the rest of Evos, they seek out out with the grenade. KF drops down Sambay. There's not too much of an angle for them to work around, but Michael Boyd is going to be trying to push, and he goes in blindly, spraying onto the angles of Onyx, and it's only down to Sea Sky only. He will take one down, rotating across, and he will try to bring the pain towards Evil's Reborn, but that's just about enough. Onyx Esports taking out 15. And zero kills. Well, talk about the going out too soon. They, it is them once again here. So not doing too hot, but the circle has closed in. Phase right behind Vampire Esports as always here. So MSC now playing within with only two members. And they're not in a comfortable situation, it mm -hmm. seems. Infinity, they'll make the rotation and push in. So MSC is going to find another problem up on their hand. As Ponzai scouts out Newsy. No, he will not. Interesting setup coming from MSC now. Oh, the RRQ thought, is going to crash right into the compound where Anchor Punch is at. Delamark taken out outside of the zone, and it's going to be Nepico charging up a grenade while Shroud 
make sure nobody gets through the door and he will take out Asa and Zero. He marched outwards and what a push out of compound as Anchor PUBG, they were so ready to take on the fight and that leaves oh, only more driving right though. Line. They come in, they might just take out APG from their own compound. They could challenge this one up. They do take down Neprico eventually, but Vampire Esports, they're right within the vicinity. Do they look to push? Not just about yet, but there's going to be more grenades flying in from Anchor PUBG if this is going to be the case. Vampire Esports is either the turtle oh, in or they go. further commit. And now with great smokes, they can't afford to start the push. Yes, and they're marching forward, but they have to hop on onto the high ground here. They do have Schweppes looking in, looking out for them from the back end, but he's taking some hefty damages as well. APG spraying down onto the side of Geek Fam. Does not claim a little soul, but BN dropping like flies here as Ooh. they're out in the open Capone. trying to push up. But Capone will secure one up on the top floor. And he took down FaZe Clan's uh, marksman right there and then. Oh, now pushing with the micro Uzi. He has the advantage here against MR5, who doesn't have that much health to begin with. And you don't have Tony K to make the work happen. Eagle Esports is the next one to fall. B and United, they waited for this oh chance. Oh my god, MR5, the grenade. He took one up and he says, Sayonara, I'm just gonna leave this building right here. And BN, they also know better to make a move. They want to build a better position. Yesterday, they almost got into the top three or even to close out the chicken dinner. Now it's Ravenclaw's turn to seek members of Infinity across the hill. Yes, they did get a couple of kills their way, but nothing too impressive yet. APG now pushing Ooh. down onto VPE, recognizing the high ground advantage they have, but they're up against vampires here, who is said to be immortals. Ravenclaw just watching them by the rock side. Will lop one nade up forward. Can they hit here? A member will go down. It gets blown up, and now it's a 2v3 situation, but with the high ground advantage, what? APG wipes the entirety of Vampire Esports. What a strong showing coming out of APG. They got that Aprax out there. Possibly one of the most confident uh, pushes that we've ever seen coming from Anchor PUBG. Now, Infinity having Mela on the lookout here. It's Sovel dropping the grenade into the smoke. It's got Tony who rushes forward. He doesn't care of who's running right by. NFT will still be wiped out while Red Face. We'll continue to fight against four rivals here. Microboy suppressing Pumbaru right behind a rock and the hard plays. He's ditching out that buggy and now going on foot and he's got no time left. So Microboy also have to move his way forward, but there's also gonna be Geek Fam that's gonna be disturbing these two teams that are currently trying to get into the circle. Yeah, but who's gonna get who first? You know, there's only one eyes on each, one pair of eyes Anchor on PUBG. each player and APG might have spotted out four rivals before he could oh, make the poke here. So uh, Zero will make it, will make the push forward now, but they're going into the compounds with Geek Fam. Can they look to challenge here? It is all they members do. on Geek Fam, or at least three of them still alive. Wow. And Zero will fall down flat, toss the nade before he goes what? down. Will it blow up though? You just look at QB, he just clutch one versus two, also with assistance coming from the back as well. Now, Damrud rushes to the building, needing to challenge Faris, and he has QB to support. Snipes may be down, but he's not out just about yet. Now in the top five situation, there is huge damage output coming from Geek Fam, and all they have to do, crack that grenade, and they will be able to crush the hopes and dreams of Axis Red 1. That was a brave nade tossed out by Geek Fam. That one could have easily clipped his allies here. Meanwhile, though, God Tuny, like the god he is, already trying to shut down Evos, who's currently up in the number one slot here. We'll take down XQF and wow. Microboy. That's the entire Evos to go at it. And he has such sharp eyes. I couldn't even see the hair strands of Microboy out there. And you just see that spray transition caught on to the final two members of Evo's Reborn. Now, it's down to MR5 here to survive. And Benny here, having solid chance to go up against Geek Fam. They have a little bit of elevation to work out with. MR5, got this Dacia here parked right in between, but it might blow up if there's any more bullets flying in the way. And speaking of which, it just happened, taking a little bit of health bars off MR5 base clan. A top three finish is going to be good enough, even if they don't really get extra numbers out there. And in fact, Damrude 
was the one to steal it away from the Inferi. Now it's between MYSG versus the MPL Town. Yes, and this is definitely on paper looking like a one-sided match, but we have to remember Damroot is the top fragger from the side from Geek Fam, and I think in this entire league alone, still holding the number one spot here. They will try and trade bodies. Logan's in position right behind the tree, but QB looking to come in with the flank. The nade's been tossed on forward. It does not clutch. It does not clip, actually. And now Logan's focusing his fire. Snipes taking a bunch of hits. But they will keep tossing on forward here and will finally clip onto Logan. So he has to be careful. He knows his position is a little bit compromised at this point. Logan managing to dodge, but then again, he's still soaking in so much damage. QB Snipes. won't be able to do anything about Snipes dropping down though. Now he spots out Mela, but he's only gonna land one bullet a piece. Datuni, he can be the one to make the difference here if he can find Damrud, who's currently having a few smokes here as cover. And you look at Geek Fam, he's trying to land it upon Mela here, but that buys time for Logan! He managed to get his hands onto QB. Now it's only down to the best player of Geek Fam, Damroot, to find a clutch and opening. Now he's going to pressurize Gatsuni. He's got so little health left. Can he do the trick though? He tries to move inside the smoke, but the rest of Infinity has got him all surrounded for the chicken dinner here in the hands of Infinity. Of course it has.